Welcome to the program. It's Capital Market live on Channel Television. We acknowledge the fact that there's one more trading session left in 2018, and that's 31st of December, um, Monday, which is uh, to happen shortly, of course. But however, it's not certain if that will change the records that we've seen of the market so far this year. 2019 is just a few hours away. Uh, what does it have in stock for investors? And of course, viewers that are watching right now. Ayode Jebo from Afri Invest Securities is still with us here. So let's get some forward guidance from you now. 2019, a few hours away from now. Uh, you touched on it a little bit in the first segment, uh, talking about the fact that this trend that we're seeing in the market is likely to continue. What do you mean by that? Yes, um, starting from the fixed income market, uh, we expect that there will, still, there will be continued pressure on FX, and when you look at in terms of the major objective of the CBN or focus right now mm -hmm. is to ensure that there's um, exchange rate stability. So we would see more aggressive mop ups, uh, OMO mop ups, which may lead to if um, which may lead to um, CBN increasing the the rates. Uh, we expect that maybe before we approach election, we may still about uh, we may still see about 50 basis point increase in the long um, OMO um, maturities. And we also look at, in terms of the fixed income um, trade bond market, yes. we'll, we'll feel that we'll continue to see uh, interest. Um, the yields will not go significantly beyond this current level of 15%. Mm. Uh, but when you look at, in terms of the, uh, for corporates, uh, most of the corporates won't be able to come, come out to issue either corporate bonds or commercial paper Why? at as this a high, as a result of high, tightening? No, as a result of this high yield environment because it will not be attractive. Um, it will not make any financial sense coming out at, um, at this level. And we were, but say for, uh, you know, CBN, it, there's a program of a risk sector of, uh, facility okay. that, uh, for A-rated companies. Mm -hmm. uh, for few companies may take advantage of that, that where CBN will be able to buy bonds at single-digit rates from corporates. Yeah, some companies may take advantage of that in 2019. Mm -hmm. And when we switch uh, to the equities market, we feel when you look at how market has performed, uh, few months before election, yeah, look at 2011, 2015, mm. we, discovered, uh, we, we discovered that the uh, market has dipped between 4 to 5% before the election. And when you, that's this year, next year, that's 2019 may not be different. So we may see further uh, decline uh, as we approach the election. However, uh, it's going to be depending on how the election um, swings, if it's uh, the APC in terms of expectation, in terms of the growth rate may not be as aggressive if it's uh, the PDP because of um, more private sector uh, delivering um, initiatives that the PDP has. Uh, and if it's uh, the PDP that the new government that comes in, that will take more time, that will increase the uncertainty that we would have in the market uh, because we will need to study in terms of what their major policies because most times we've seen that manifesto differs from the actual policy that has been implemented. Mm. So it's, you may have very robust manifesto, but when it comes to reality, when, and you may not be able to implement some of those things that earlier be projected. However, with the APC, you expect, though growth may, expectation may, uh, may be lower, but in terms of certainty, uh, certainty, you are sure in terms of how policies will continue to be channeled. But you also, uh, it's also important to note that we'll be having a new CBN governor in June next year. Mm -hmm. That is also very critical is because uh, we may, let okay. me just say we may, because, because when the you look at, might just return its position. Uh, it's, uh, we've, not, we've not seen that in terms of um, when you look at the history Past of practice. CBN governors, uh, yeah. in the, we've not seen that. But that would also help in terms of that would uh, determine foreign, especially for foreign investors, would like to understand in terms of the policy initiative of if it's a new CBN governor, they would like to also understand that. So that may slow in terms of the, the uh, influx of uh, capital in the first half. However, once we see those clarity in the second half of 2019, in terms of the direction of election, and also in terms of the new CBN governor policies, uh, policy initiatives that have, um, that have been set up, 
that will, we feel that that may boost and may yeah, improve interest, especially from um, the, the foreign investors, because uh, the way Nigeria works, four-year cycle, so they know they have another two and a half, three years to play in this market. And with, uh, the, we expect that there will be more borrowings next year domestically mm -hmm. because it's, also, it's becoming unattractive to raise debt um, globally. You know, the last one euro bond that was raised was raised around 12-year instrument was raised around 9% um, yeah. relative 8. to 8.8% 7, 7 in February. So we expect with the expectation that the U.S. Fed may still, um, in 2019, may increase rates by two or three times. That will also make it more expensive to, to raise funds abroad. Mm -hmm. And domestically, you look at the, in terms of the budget deficit, about $2.3 trillion. It means that the uh, government will need to raise those funds um, in Nigeria, and that may drive rates higher in 2019. So, so they may not externalize anymore, the debt strategy. It's becoming expanded. unattractive. You also see, when you look at the corporate euro bonds, um, that has reduced from about 3.7 trillion in 2017 to about, um, I think, less than 3 trillion now. Um, Diamond Bank and Access. Access Bank will be maturing in 2019. Yeah. That we don't expect that we may not see new issuance um, from the corporates, especially the banks have been the major um, sector or that, or that have been taking advantage of the euro bond market. So um, in 2019, it's uh, really going to also be a game of two halves where in, in the first half, election will play a major role until inauguration and all, as well as the new CBN governor. Then when you get in, when we get into the second half, we'll see more clarity and that will help shape both the equities and the fixed income markets. How will the oil price, as we've seen now, and uh, the way to pan out next year when OPEC is asking us now to you know, start cutting down our supply or our outputs, how will that shape the market for us? Yeah, for... For us, uh, when you look at in terms of the budget benchmark at $60, yes, that's based on what has been proposed to the House, mm -hmm. uh, $60 per barrel. Uh, and when you look at the current pri uh, price at which crude is trading, so for it, um, it may be a major challenge uh, in terms of our revenue. Um, when you look at based on actual revenue, it's around, it's around 53, 54% actual in terms of achievement yeah. so far. So that may be a major concern even for foreign investors because um, the accretion of the reserve may not be as fast as we saw it this year on the, on the back of higher oil, uh, crude oil prices. So that's, it, also, it also has a major factor that it will play in terms of shaping foreign investor sentiment as well as um, for domestic and institutional investors. Do you think that we are already having the impact of the poor accretion in reserves? Uh, because again, the last uh, euro bond borrowings that we did uh, seem to be what has been able to help shore up the reserves in recent times. So is that the kind of trend that we will also see in 2019? Yeah, we would, would see yeah major trends that we may not see significant um, accretion um, in 2019 and CBN is uh, would continue to uh, defend in, in the, the Naira. And, uh, but based on the levels where we currently are, mm. we still feel it's at a comfortable level. It's above six months of import. Right. Uh, but when we begin to get to a level where reserves is touching about $35 mil, uh, billion, dollars, um, that would, um, we, we would begin to raise concern and there may be pressure and the need for a devaluation. I'm going to ask you one last question, and I need a yes or no. Do you anticipate a devaluation next year? Yes. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the program. You're welcome. Thanks You're the, for having me. Thank you so much. You're the last uh, guest we're having for this year. It's an honor to actually have you on the show. Thanks a great deal. Ayode Jiebo is the Chief Executive at Afri Invest Securities Limited. That's all the time we have this weekend and for 2018, our last edition of the program. Thank you for being a part of it. I'm Temple Ashaju. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.